Okay, maybe you can tell us a bit more about the social side of things. So, so what are like the students like in JCU? <laughs> students like in JCU? Uh? Wow. I'm, I'm not too sure if I'm the person who asked, man, because I have quite a number of friends, <laughs> different groups of people, you know. I go, I have the, the Kwai Kwai people who study with me. I have the, the people who go out and party with me. I have the, <laughs> The people who lays around with me, I, I, I mean, that's just a many different kind of people. And it's interesting over there because uh, we have a mix of culture. It's not just Singaporeans over there. You have, I mean, I, I, had, I had a German friend, a German, German a Scottish. Uh, I, I, I have, of course, you know, like the Southeast Asian that I have a lot of all these friends and so on. So it's a good mix. I think it's a good mix. Uh, one thing notably, there is not much, or at least I haven't experienced it or seen it myself, like, like racial uh, discrimination or prejudice over there. Because I, I kind of, you know, when, whenever I think about oh, international school, what if the white guys don't like us? You know, Asians, or something like that, you know, that kind of things, right? Mm -hmm. No, they don't have it. Okay. Yeah, we, we all go and party together, you know, and, and it's true, like how five years of my time over there, it's, it's, it's been like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't heard of any uh, any conflict yeah, because of that. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I think it's a healthy thing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it can be a new research. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still into this. <laughs> yeah, I can find one of yeah. the supervisors to help out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, I, think, I, think, I think it's good. I mean, if we were to look at the, the local context, you know, xenophobia is a it's quite huge, like it's quite a thing in Singapore also. But interestingly, when when in this uh, context, you know, international school, we don't really see it. So it, maybe it's got to do with our culture over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody is just more. We know what we want to do, especially for okay, for for psych, for psychology. We know what we want to do because we're going there. And then JCU is also what, credited or something. I'm not too sure of the, so many titles and awards that, that JCU has been awarded. I, I, yeah, I'm not here to, to, to push for all this marketing, but I'm just saying that people come here with a purpose. Mm -hmm. So okay. for psychology graduates uh, or, or undergrads, we have, have to go and then we go. Uh, but mm. in, in terms of social side, this is where I, I was, like I said, it's a pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, of course, la. can't have all this and that. You know, when you have a mix of culture, you get to see different side of life also. Yeah, a different <laughs> way of playing. <laughs> I shut up. I shut up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Like whatever. But you know, it's fun. It was fun. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just live for the imagination. Uh, it's college life. Uh, then, I mean, studying, you still got to, got to get down to business and study. Mm -hmm. So, that's when I... We have this group of people also who are just super on about studying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So ultimately, it's about knowing who to mix with and when to mix. Uh, when to mix with who. Oh yeah. sure, sure. <laughs> now, now I'm just okay. curious. Uh, what what kind of playing? <laughs> oh, yeah, we can. <laughs> uh, offline, offline, offline. <laughs> uh, yeah, offline. <laughs> yeah. All right. It was fun. It was fun. So uh, I think I think. Were you in the Sims Drive campus the entire time? No, I was at, uh, my foundation was in the Angokyo campus. I ah. love that little campus. Yeah, it was, it, I think they converted from a, from a kindergarten or a preschool, I'm not wrong. Yes, I think it's a preschool yeah, yeah, yeah. now. It, it was so cozy, you know, it was just us over there. Like, it was just foundation and then we just chill and then we just have fun. Uh. Yeah. Uh, not enough integration, uh, then only yeah, foundation. Like, like, <laughs> Yeah, but, but it was nice. So, so, like, we had our foundation clay. We, we were very close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, but then after, after we went to degree, of course, slowly, like, we just went our separate ways. Mm -hmm. I remember mean, from time to time, you know, we still keep keep in touch. Even until now, I just texted one one of one of my friends a few days back or so. Yeah. Just, I mean, COVID period now, you know, very sad. <laughs> then you look through all photos and go, hey, what, what are you doing? <laughs> just like, we say, hey, so how are they? Okay, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why we, where, where we all air our grievances. Uh, and we just, same thing, the first thing, we just talk about foundation again. Uh, <laughs> and the same three words came out. How I wish, blah, blah, blah. I was still in foundation, you know, this kind of thing. It's, so we can see that there's a lot of 
uh, good memories being <laughs> formed. Mm-hmm. Of course, there were drama times. Uh, that's what makes it interesting. <laughs> All the more memorable. Yeah. <laughs> All the more memorable. Not, yeah. Nothing like drama to make things memorable. Huh? <laughs> yep, I agree with that. <laughs> so you, were you in any uh, CCAs, uh, co-curriculars? Uh, I am an official member of JCU Music Club. Mm-hmm. I've never been to any of their sessions. So I'm not <laughs> sure how... I mean, my, my name is probably inside. Mm-hmm. But then I've never been to... I've never turned up or anything. Yeah, I performed... I think I sang once or twice. La. I don't know. I mean, my friend just, he just shouted my name across. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey, Tien, Tien, your turn to sing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, once or twice. La. Then that's about it. La. Then the rest are unofficial karaoke sessions. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, how, that's how we do things. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I, I think, actually, yes, uh, speaking of the social life, we cannot... Uh, forget that the, the CCAs or whatever you, mm. what, what JC you call it I can't remember club club drive clubs club and societies activity. yeah the club, club drive. and society yeah. yes this is a, a huge part uh, of our social life because mm-hmm. that, that's where we wind down from our you know, studies and, and, mm-hmm. and mingle around have all do things we like yeah especially I mean if you're talking about music club all of them you know like, they, we like, they like music some of like you say I have no musical background I just join because I just want to learn something yeah but in the end I didn't turn up because of my trainings mm. yeah so <clears throat> uh, I think that really helped us I would think that if now think, thinking back perhaps this is the reason why you know, we, have, we, we kind of have this uh, this, this, this good racial harmony in, in, in JCU because it's different people you can do dance club you can do music you can do sports whatever we're just there uh, having fun with each other yeah so I, I think that that's kind of nice mm-hmm. so when do you recall when you were uh, asked to sing unofficially which year was that uh, so, uh, then I can dig out the I, archives I, to find your photos <laughs> oh, uh, there was one there was one with uh, oh I still remember his name Sean Wow. Yeah, I remember this 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 uh this white dude. Uh he's so interesting. He sings Cantonese. He can speak in Mandarin. He grew oh. up in Shanghai, speaks Mandarin, can sing in Cantonese, he can play the guitar, he can drum, he's a good musician. Uh yeah, he just he asked me because I was just asking around, hey, yeah, I know I don't know how to sing a, a Cantonese song. Then he was like, Did you just say Cantonese song? What song do you know? I'm like, whoa. <laughs> uh, so in there we sang uh, Beyond. Uh, oh, Beyond. Know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we were all taken aback, like, dude, you can sing in Cantonese. It was mm-hmm. really, really good. Yeah, it was, uh, that, that was one. And then, of course, uh, other few times was with uh, some of my friends. Uh, I think it was, yeah, it was a solo song for me. Eh? Yeah. I think it was during Club Drive. I can't remember which year, probably third, second or third year. Okay, so I'll, I'll just dig out our archives, don't worry. Then maybe maybe when I'm editing <laughs> this, uh, I will put it up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, 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 that was some. Yeah. Then, yeah. That, that, that's about it. Lah. Yeah, my, my involvement as a JCU mm-hmm. music club member. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, moving on, I think. You're quite famous in JCU because of uh <laughs> my, my yeah I know you're gonna say my, my sport yeah your uh, sport yeah shoot. you're yeah, actually yeah. a team Singapore was currently is a team Singapore uh, athlete? I would think was I mean my name is still in there mm-hmm. I but I don't go back and train anymore mm-hmm. I see myself more as a, a, a ex retired national team athlete but from time to time I used the gym there because it's free so. Mm-hmm. So I kept my name there so that I can use the gym for free. Yeah. Uh, Should we edit it, edit this out? Edit this out so that uh, sports sports Singapore doesn't hear. Uh, no, it's okay. They 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 they're fine about it. Yeah. I mean, even without the gym, I will go out to to, to, to train on my own lah. Uh, okay. It's a mindset. It's a lifestyle. But anyway, uh, yeah. I think why I got famous was because of the 2015 Sea Games or so. Yeah. So 2014, I was in foundation already. Then at that point in time, I was training up for SEA Games in 2015. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's nice. That was when I transited to Bachelor of Psychology. Yeah. Besides. Yeah. So during that period, I think my foundation lecturers were very 
very enthusiastic about it. I think they were more on than me. Like, hey, when you need to go overseas? Uh, when you need to train? Uh, when you need to go? Uh, uh, they were super nice. And they, they planned my, my study. They planned everything for me. Like, even if I would go, go overseas I, I, for training, uh, they made sure that I, I got the certain got, got my reading materials and everything. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But of course I don't I don't read uh. <laughs> yeah, we're training. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, that's a thing. Uh, the truth is how <laughs> but that's the thing. We can do that in foundation. <laughs> but we can I can never uh, we can never do it in in, in uh, degree. Uh. Yeah, but we had to do projects and all. Uh so so they were very kind. You know, we had certain arrangements uh, that that my lecturers helped me with. Uh. Mm-hmm. So to make sure that I can focus on my game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that so, really helped me. Uh. Did you have to uh, like reschedule classes or stuff like that, or do you like take a leave of absence, or was it just? Yeah, I took a leave of absence. Mm-hmm. I took a leave of absence from my training. Uh, but I think that time I think it was uh, because it was quite long, uh, and then it was during close to exam period or so. I think oh. I had to write uh, an, an email under the guidance of uh, Miss Miss Gandhi uh, mm-hmm. the, the 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 head of the foundation mm-hmm. yeah so she advised me to write an email to our dvc at the, at the point like, i see i see yeah so he approved like he approved of the of the leave because a long one so okay, I'll go ahead mm-hmm. yeah oh, so and yeah jc bought me a lot for my competitions even subsequently you know i had to i want to go for university games yeah they, they just said okay let's go ahead mm-hmm. yeah. Even sponsored my trip. Whoa. <laughs> I know how thankful I am because my, my, my friends, they had to, were SMU, SIM, they had to pay like 80%, uh, not, not, not too sure, at least at least 30%, one of them. Mm-hmm. They still have to pay something like this, this is fully sponsored, basically. Yeah. 